Welcome everyone to the Cook to Flourish kitchen. This is Robin Cook and it is a joy to have you join me today. Today we're going to make a very easy autumn acorn squash recipe. So I can't wait to show it to you. All right, so here's what you're going to do. You are going to get an acorn squash. I love getting mine at the farmer's market. Right now it's early November, so their season is wrapping up, but you can also find them at a health food store too. So you're going to wash your acorn squash, you're going to dry it off, and you're going to cut it in half. So I've already cut it in half for us today, and then we're going to take out the seed. So this is kind of the messy part, but it's going to be worth it. So acorn squash, I just love how amazing it is. It's kind of nutty it's soft it's warm it's comforting and it's so versatile so here's what we're gonna do we have now our acorn squash we've taken out the seeds we can save those we can actually roast them later if you would like so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit I'm gonna wipe my hands a little bit of cinnamon and some sea salt into this acorn squash bowl so a little bit of cinnamon here just a smidge, just to get a little bit of a sweet flavor as it roasts in the oven. You'll also want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. All right, so we're just going to take our hand and we're just going to smother this acorn squash with the cinnamon and the sea salt. And then we're gonna put it cut side down into a glass baking dish. You'll put this into the oven at 375 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. So you put it in there, you let it go. If you wanted to, you could toss these seeds with a little bit of avocado oil, some salt, pepper, garlic, put those onto a cookie sheet and bake them in the oven for about 10 minutes or so until they are crispy. So you can also enjoy those. So let's pretend that we have our acorn squash already out of the oven so here it is Ta -da! we have our beautiful acorn squash it smells amazing we have the cinnamon that you can smell and then you have the acorn squash and the sweetness that it already has within it and now we're gonna jazz it up so we're gonna accentuate the sweetness of the squash and the cinnamon with some blood orange extra virgin olive oil I personally get mine from heavenly olive oils and vinegars here in Kansas City so I'm just going to do a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the blood orange olive oil so however much you want to do that's going to add just a beautiful flavor element to this dish and then we're also going to take an organic orange so wash your orange and then we're just going to grate a little bit of the zest into this beautiful acorn squash so there we go. At this point, if you want to add a little bit extra cinnamon, you totally could. You could add a little bit of walnuts or pecans or pumpkin seeds or almonds, or you could stuff it with something. You could stuff it with some roasted veggies or with a soup. That would be amazing, like a butternut squash soup in the hollow of this as like a bowl would be fantastic. So there we have it, my friends. We have a beautiful, easy autumn acorn squash recipe here. So thank you so much for joining me in the Cook to Flourish kitchen. God bless you. We'll see you again.